When a narcissist believes they can't beat you, this is the cruelest form of tactics they'll use. Everyone, buckle up for a wild ride into the shady world of narcissistic relationships. We're peeling back the curtain on the mysterious plots brewing in the shadows. But hey, no need to freak out. We've got a guiding star for those braving the rocky road to recovery. We're about to dive headfirst into the ultimate villain move in this twisted tale, gaslighting. Get ready for a mix of excitement and a touch of dread. In the messy journey through toxic relationships, whether you're stuck in a narcissist's grip or tangled up in a web of hostility, gaslighting is the sneaky threat that warps the very fabric of your reality. But fear not, brave souls. Knowledge is your trusty shield on this tough journey to freedom. Picture gaslighting as a hidden snake slithering into your mind, injecting doubts that eat away at the foundation of your sanity until you're hanging on the edge of crazy town. It's psychological manipulation at its sneakiest. In the face of this tricky deception, it's crucial to document every messed up episode, like a detective hunting down the truth or grabbing onto the expertise of specialists as your lifeboat in the stormy seas of self-discovery. Now, deep in the labyrinth of gaslighting, there's a phrase that sends shivers down the spine. This incantation has the power to toss its victims into the pit of despair. Brace yourself as we uncover the spine-chilling effects of this wicked weapon. The chant goes something like this. No one will ever believe you. Feel that creepy chill crawling up your spine. That's the grip of fear tightening around your heart. Imagine mustering the courage to stand up to a narcissistic jerk, armed with the truth that could shatter your world, only to be hit with shameless denial that takes audacity to a whole new level. They confidently declare that, given your fragile state, no one would ever believe your side of the story. You're left feeling powerless, exposed to their mind games as they manipulate you like it's just another day at the office. Now, think of being a vulnerable kid stuck with a narcissistic parent. You know you're dealing with constant put-downs and emotional beatings. You gather the courage to spill the beans, maybe even spill some family secrets. But instead of exposing their lies, they arrogantly brush off your revelations as mere whispers in the wind. The narcissist is like a superhero of deception, impervious to getting caught. And their act is flawless to everyone but the sharpest critics. So, you're stuck wrestling with the futility of calling them out, feeling like you've got no safe place to turn. It's a nasty paradox that narcissists, these shape-shifting masters, can navigate social circles with ease, switching between craving validation and dodging any hint of suspicion. This is their art of disguise. They twist reality so much that you start questioning your own sanity, wondering if you're even thinking straight. Narcissistic predators thrive in this foggy space leading a dance of confusion that has you doubting your very existence. And just to make things messier, folks with similar narcissistic vibes often miss the conniving moves of their own kind. They see the narcissist as this flawless hero radiating good intentions and completeness, leaving them in awe. This boosts the narcissist's image, and when you throw in their supposedly grand achievements, it puts them on a pedestal of righteousness. It's a real mess. In this twisted scenario, there are folks who not only like but practically worship narcissists. They see them as model citizens, even when obvious warning signs are slapping them in the face. People stuck in narcissistic or gaslighting relationships are seriously at risk because this warped admiration makes them defenseless and increasingly anxious and helpless. Often, victims wrongly blame themselves, thinking they're fundamentally flawed. Survivors of narcissistic abuse endure a brutal kind of social isolation. It cuts ties with their support networks and blocks them from finding comfort in places that get what they've been through. As if being a victim wasn't tough enough, this harsh isolation adds another layer. Gaslighting tactics like saying, no one will ever believe you, plant doubt, and paint the victim as a crazy outsider. The damage persistent gaslighting does to a relationship is off the charts. It wrecks the victim's self-worth, leaving them powerless against the narcissist's nasty schemes. It's crucial to take action ASAP. Whether with mental health pros or understanding friends, 
to lessen the damage from these parasitic relationships. But here's the kicker. The same person who messed with your head is now parading as a big shot, basking in the love of a bunch of friends and followers. Their careless attitude has left you feeling disheartened, hopeless, drowning in sadness, and paralyzed by fear. Then bam, the narcissist shows up again, this time pulling their sneakiest move, trying to hush you up to keep the boat from rocking. It's downright cruel when they go, no one will believe you. That hits hard, making you feel incredibly hopeless because there's always a chance your claims will be brushed off. Unfortunately, when others hear bad stuff about the narcissist, they might react with doubt or flat-out deny the info. Dismissive comments passed off as normal family issues just make the suffering worse. When you go through emotional harm from someone close, like a parent or partner, it's natural to feel mad and down. But dealing with gaslighting and people's skeptical attitudes can be draining, making you want to avoid social stuff. Problem is, pulling back like that makes social isolation worse making it tougher to recover from the tough experience and gain some perspective. If you find yourself navigating the challenging terrain described here, don't hesitate to seek support, whether from a mental health professional or a friend who understands what you're going through. It's important to recognize that you're not facing these challenges alone. Despite the emotional wreckage that may feel as immense as a mountain when dealing with narcissistic abuse, it's crucial to understand that you can conquer it. It's essential to highlight that this type of trauma isn't exclusive to narcissistic relationships. It can manifest in situations where individuals are left feeling helpless, as is often the case with children. Acknowledging this trauma is a critical step in the healing process. Abusers and narcissists are adept at presenting a polished and respectable facade in public while wreaking havoc behind closed doors. This covered form of abuse contributes to the distressing feeling of no one will believe you, leaving victims emotionally battered and isolated. Unlike situations where victims have visibly and outwardly suffered at the hands of an obvious monster, narcissistic, and hostile abuse operates in a more insidious manner. It becomes challenging for others to believe victims who have experienced this subtle, under-the-radar form of abuse. When the abuser appears entirely respectable and put together, it further exacerbates the victim's fears by validating them. Remember, it's crucial to reach out for support during challenging times, and you're not alone in facing the aftermath of narcissistic abuse. Recognizing the trauma and seeking help are essential steps toward healing. The insidious nature of this abuse may make it difficult for others to understand, but your experiences are valid and there are people who will listen and support you on your journey to recovery. If you've been tangled up in mind games and gaslighting, it's crucial to recognize those behaviors for what they truly are. This awareness is like the starting line of your journey toward healing. Rebuilding your self-worth gets real tricky when people close to you let you down. Those who've been through this kind of mistreatment often struggle big time to break free from the cycle of hurt and loneliness. I genuinely hope that shining a light on the messed up nature of these toxic relationships brings some clarity to your situation. If you're feeling stuck in this mess, know this, you're not alone. There are folks out there ready to stand by you, offering solid support. It's time to break out of that lonely cycle and kickstart your healing journey. The road to recovery is there for the strong and determined. It's time to hit the road and move forward.